In this question up here, we're asked how many degrees of unsaturation there are in a compound with the formula shown here. The correct answer is C. If you want to know why, I'll show you right now. This question asks us to determine how many degrees of unsaturation there are in a molecule with this formula. Well, what in the world is a degree of unsaturation? <laughs> A degree of unsaturation is a fancy, long, multisyllabic word that means a double bond or a ring. Let me explain. Generally speaking, if I have a straight chain boring alkane, or it could even be a branched alkane, the formula for that alkane is going to be this, CnH2n plus 2. What that means is that if I had seven carbons in a boring alkane, no double bonds, no rings, its formula would be C7H16. Now, if you don't believe me, you can actually draw it out and count how many carbons and how many hydrogens you have. I'm going to go ahead and draw a skeleton structure for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you look at that closely and draw out all the hydrogens and carbons, you'll see that it indeed does have that formula. Now, what happens if I add a double bond? I'll go ahead and add a double bond just right here for the fun of it. What happens is the formula now changes from C7H16 to C7H14. In other words, adding one double bond decreases the number of hydrogens by two. So adding one double bond decreases or lowers the number of hydrogens by two. The same thing would be true of adding a ring. It's harder to just change the thing into a ring here on the board, so I'm not going to do that. But you can go ahead and practice on a piece of paper and see. What would happen if I added a second double bond? Well, it would decrease the uh, number of hydrogens by two more down to H12. So this formula here has that formula right there. So how many degrees of unsaturation, either rings or double bonds, do I have in this molecule? It's going to be two. In this question, we're asked what the degree of unsaturation is for a molecule with this formula. The correct answer is B. And if you want to know why, I'll show you right now. This leads beautifully into our next question. How many degrees of unsaturation do we have in a molecule with this formula, C30H60? Well, you might remember from my previous explanation that the general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2, which means that if I had 30 carbons and I had no rings, no double bonds, nothing else exciting, the formula for this molecule would be C30H62. Now you'll notice that this is the formula that I would have if I had no rings, no double bonds, this is the formula that I'm given. How many degrees of unsaturation do I have? Well, remember, a degree of unsaturation is either a double bond or a ring. It's what it is. And every time I add one double bond or one ring, I decrease my number of hydrogens by two. So I've gone from 62 to 60. So how many double bonds or rings have I added? One, which means number of degrees of unsaturation in this problem is one. And the correct answer is B. In this question, we're asked which of the following molecules produces the most heat per mole when reacted with O2 in a combustion reaction. The correct answer is D. If you'd like to know why, I'll explain it right now. This question asks us to determine which of these molecules is going to give us the most heat per mole when reacted with O2. When we use the phrase, when reacted with O2, what we're really talking about is a combustion reaction. And you might remember that a combustion reaction has this kind of formula. I've got some number of carbons bound to some number of hydrogens. This could be an alkane, an alkene, an alkyne, some kind of cyclic alkane or alkene or alkyne, some kind of hydrocarbon. If I expose that to O2 under combustion conditions, what this does is it undergoes a reaction to produce CO2, water, and heat. Now, if you don't remember this, I'll post a link here to a previous lecture that I have talking about combustion reactions. In any case, Combustion reaction is the reaction that fuels our cars. We have fossil fuels, which are hydrocarbons. We throw in our car in the form of gasoline, expose that to O2, and uh, it releases CO2, carbon dioxide, water, and heat. And the heat is, is of course, captured and uh, used to push pistons up and down, turn cams, and then the crankshaft, and then the axles, and make our cars move. In any event, here's the deal. You want to know which of the, these molecules is going to give off the most heat when you, uh, per molecule or per mole 
when exposed to O2 in a combustion reaction? The answer is whichever the molecules has the largest number of carbons and hydrogens per molecule. Here I've got methane, I've got uh, I think ethane, I've got cyclohexane and cycloheptane. And as you can clearly see, cycloheptane is the molecule that has the largest number of carbons and hydrogens per molecule and hence will be the one that gives off the most heat per molecule or per mole when exposed to O2 in combustion conditions.